everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. So I am getting ready to do a edge-to-edge -edge quilting with the Emily Scott system. And I'm going to quilt, using my embroidery machine, I'm going to quilt this little table runner that I made at a class at my local quilt shop. I am using a Millie Scott's Expansion Pack 6. In the video, I typed Expansion Expansion Pack 2. Sorry, I got my tongue wrapped around my eye tooth and I couldn't see what I was saying. <laughs> my mom used to say that all the time. Hey, stick with the program, Becky. So, I'm getting ready to do this and so I'm going to make a part one to this. There are so many new subscribers to my channel, so I want to welcome you here. I work in computers by day for the U.S. Air Force, and so I want to, there, you know, so many of you, so many of you are very computer savvy. There's, a, I mean, I know there are people who watch this channel that are like developers, and you guys are like way up there. But, so there are so many of you that say, well, I'm not a computer person and I don't understand and I don't know how to do this. Y'all, let me tell you something. It is so easy to do this. If you can read a recipe and you can cook a meal, you can do what I'm about to show you, okay? I don't want you to be intimidated by it. I want you to watch the video and just... You know, if you need to watch it three or four times, then watch it three or four times. What I'm about to show you is how to take design files that are on a CD. Maybe you haven't, this is a need a good design. Maybe you have an OESD file. Maybe you've got the Amelie Scott file. I'm about to show you how to take it from the CD that you have and put it onto a USB stick put it onto your computer and then you can transfer it over to your machine okay it's very easy to do y'all it was designed by a man it can't be that hard <laughs> I'm kidding okay so sorta of. you know think of it like this y'all have these fancy phones right do you know how they work no you don't know how they work you know how to work it. You know you need to press the button and, you know, or whatever, do your Google Maps or whatever. You have a TV remote. You know how to work it. You don't know how it works. You don't care how it works. You just want to know how to work it. This is the same thing. And I'm just getting ready to show y'all how to work working with a computer using using a laptop or a desktop it doesn't matter either one and I'm gonna show you how to do this even if you don't have let's say you get a new laptop because a lot of them now are, are coming they don't have little CD readers in them you can buy an external okay you can get those as a matter of fact I will link to it in the description box below and show you a, a pretty good one that that I think is okay and uh, you click on that and get it or you can go to Best Buy and go get one whatever you want so this is a really basic basic baby step tutorial how to move design files for your embroidery machine from a CD and get it so you can get it to your machine for those of you that already know how to do this just give this video a thumbs up and click off and go watch something more interesting okay <laughs> I appreciate it all right, you guys, I really am excited about doing this uh, design with you guys. So this is the beginning. Okay, this will be part one. And tomorrow I will come back and we will get this thing done. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the tutorial. Bye. To get the design from the Amelie Scott CD to a USB so we can take it to the embroidery machine. So... It, on a Windows machine, you even a Mac, look for the little folder. You want to click on the little file folder. And when you do that, let me make this real big. Over on the left side of the screen, you want to scroll down. And you should have this PC. You may have your desktops, your documents folder, your downloads, 
music, all of that stuff. You want to go to where it says DVD drive. So you need to put the DVD. Let me move this over a little bit. You need to put the DVD into your, your drive. If your laptop does not have a, a drive to be able to read a DVD or a CD, you can get one real inexpensive either on Amazon or you can go to Best Buy. I, I don't think Walmart carries them anymore. I haven't been real successful with that, but you certainly can uh, buy, it's called an external DVD drive. And if you're not sure, just go to Best Buy and tell the nice young person in the blue shirt that you need an external DVD drive and they will hook you up. Now what you need to do is you want to click you want to put the CD into the, the little drive and close the door and you're going to click on this and on the disc you've got three different sizes you can do and you need to determine which size you think is going to work best for your project. Now I'm doing a small table runner so I think the medium and the large might be too big for me to deal with. So I'm going to go to the small and double click it. And you need to find the file type that works for your machine. Okay. And so if you're not sure, you know, you can pretty much tell if you've got a Bernina, you need the ART file. If you have a brother or a baby lock, you're going to use even Bernina. It will read a PES file. If you have a Genomi, it needs a Jeff. You just need to kind of look and figure out what you've got. If you're not sure, and if it's not listed here, go to your manual for your machine and it will tell you the file extension type that you need, probably in the first couple of pages of the book. I need this one right here. I'm gonna double click it. I wanna show you guys something. See how these little icons are popping up to so that I can see them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. I'm gonna come up here to view and I'm gonna to go to extra large icons right there. The reason I can see this is because I have a piece of software from Imbrilliance on my system called Thumbnailer. It is less than $50 and you guys, as you can see, it is worth every penny. It lets you see at a glance what the file looks like. So this is so, so handy. If you don't have this, I highly encourage you. Matter of fact, I will put a link in the, in the description box below that you can click on and go get yourself the thumbnailer. It works on a Mac and it works on a PC and it does not need a dongle and you do not have to own Imbrilliance Essentials to make it work. It will work regardless, okay? Also, if you are a long armor, it, it will show you your long arm files as well. So that's the reason I got this because it shows my QLI files that I need for my long arm. Okay, let's get back to this. So here's my feather A and here's my feather B. So I want to, how you do this is you click on one, hold down the shift key and click on the next one. That highlights both of them at the same time. If you accidentally click it again and one goes away, don't worry about it. Hold down the shift key and click the other one again. Okay, very easy. You don't have to download these into your machine if you don't want to. If you wanna just leave them on the CD, you can, or you can move them from the CD into another folder on your, on your computer if you want to. Now, you want to make sure that you have a USB also in your computer, the USB stick that you're going to use to take to your machine to migrate the files over there. So let's say you have a computer that doesn't have a CD reader or a CD, it, it doesn't, and you had to go buy that external CD reader. Well, now you want to also put this on a USB but you've only got one USB port on your system. There's two different ways you can fix this, okay? Because nowadays, computers aren't coming with a whole lot of USB ports anymore. One of the ways, there's two different ways you can fix this. You can come over here to uh, your document, I'm 
I'm not going to go into my shortcuts up here because you guys don't have that. I'm going to go on to documents. I'm going to go to my embroidery file. If you don't have an embroidery file, you can just right here in the margin, you can right click and you can go new and click it and go all the way up here to folder. And then when you go to click a new folder, you can name it whatever you want. And you, I'm going to call it, so you can call it embroidery, okay? Mine's going to be embroidery, too. I'll put embroidery dash one. And then you just hit enter. And it will save it. I don't need that because I already have an embroidery file. But that's how easy it is to make a new folder on your computer. So I'm going to right click. And you, if you mess it up and misspell it, you can rename it. So you right click, rename, or right click, delete. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, that's gone. So in my documents, I'm going to scroll down to embroidery. Okay, I have another folder here called Emily Scott Designs. I'm going to open this up. All right, I'm going to create a new folder in here. Right click, new folder. I'm going to call it expansion pack two okay now what you want to do is you want to come back over to where we are right here what you want to do you want to hit the control key and hit the a and that a stands for all and it will highlight everything on your screen or you can do it the other way. I just clicked off of that. You can hit, you can highlight that and hold down the shift key and go down to the last one. And it will highlight everything in between, okay? You want to right click, copy. What that has done is that has copied all of these files onto the clipboard and you can't see the clipboard. It's invisible and it's awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to documents and we're going to go back to embroidery and I'm going to go to Amelie Scott Designs, Expansion Pack 2, right click and paste. And there it all is. Okay. Now, if you have more than one USB port on your system and you've got room for that external CD reader and you've got room for your USB stick, good for you. You don't have to do this, okay? But this is a way to work around if you don't have but one USB port and you don't have a CD reader on your laptop. They are doing away with those things, especially if you have something like a Surface or something like that. So now what I want to do is, so there's where the DVD is, okay? And here is the USB. Now, there's already file folders on the USB stick. That's for my video camera. We're not going to worry about those, okay? So I want to go back here to my small, and I want to go to my PES files, and I'm going to go to my feather. And that's feather side A and feather side B. All right. That's what I want. Now I've got them both highlighted. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. If you cut, if you go right click and cut, they're going to go away out of that folder. Now you can put them back from the CD, but you don't want to have to do that. So you want to go right click, copy, put them on the invisible clipboard. And we're going to come over here to the USB drive. And outside of all of these folders, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste them. There they are. Okay, we are ready to go to the machine. Now, if you're lucky enough to have multiple USB ports on your system or you have a CD reader, DV, CV, DVD reader, they're one and the same. If, you're, if you have a reader, like I do in mine, and I have a USB port, it's so simple to migrate the files from the CD over to your USB. Again, you want to go to the little yellow folder. You want to, over here in the left menu, I want to find 
the DVD drive and I've got the CD in there. I'm going to come up to the small size, double click. I'm going to go to my file type. I want feather side A. I'm going to hold down the shift key and feather side B. I'm going to right click, copy, and I'm going to come over here to the USB stick that I have in the system. And I'm just going to click in the white space and go right click and paste. All done. I'm ready to go to the machine. It is that easy. Now, you have the knowledge to do this and you can do it with any kind of CD and migrate any kind of file and put it on or onto a USB stick. Now you can migrate all of your files that you want from a CD that you have, whether it's an OESD or maybe it's an Anita Good Design or something like that. Now you know how to migrate your files from your CD into your computer or from your CD onto a USB stick. Enjoy!